Next up, triggers and actions. To illustrate triggers and actions, let's take a look at a button. So I'm going to drag in a button. Hello, button. Uh, buttons exist to make things happen. Buttons are a trigger. Intuiface supports the notion of triggers and actions. Trigger, when this happens. Actions, then do that. For every trigger, there can be multiple actions. A button exists to be a trigger. In fact, there are over 200 triggers in Intuiface. And I'll show you that, but right now let's focus on something that exists to be a trigger, the button. Uh, this button's a little hard to see. It's a white button, so let's change its fill color. Press me. And in fact, we'll change the font color to white so it's easier to see. Now this is all pretty simple stuff, the way we just configured this button, which is why it's well named. That's the simple button. <laughs> we also have what's called an image button. An image button lets you change the released image and the pressed image. The released image is what does the button look like when it's not being touched. The pressed image is what does it look like when it is being touched. And that can be uh, give visible visual feedback that the button has been touched. In other words, your button doesn't have to look like a button. It's just, it just could be an image. It may not even say press me. It just might be something that people know to touch. That's up to you. To illustrate the use of triggers and actions, we'll just stick with the simple button, which gives me simple ways to modify its appearance. All right, we've got a button, a button that does nothing, <laughs> right? We didn't tell it to do anything yet. It's a trigger without a purpose. Let's give it a purpose. Uh, I can click the dog ear and click the little lightning bolt up there to add a trigger. I can also just click the lightning bolt in the upper right. I can also right click and say add a trigger, but here we go. We get the triggers and actions panel for the button, add a trigger, click. All right. When the press me button is pressed and released, then do something. This is the trigger. This is the action. When the button is pressed and released, notice there are multiple trigger categories. We're in the button category. In the button category, there's two possible triggers. We default to is released. We default to is released so that people can change their mind. Released means they touch the button, then lift their finger. If they touch the button, then drag their finger off, the button is never released. We ignore that, which is the same thing as a link in a web browser. If you click a link but drag your mouse off it, it won't activate that link. It's looking for the release, not the press. You could do as pressed. It just means your user can't change their mind. The second their finger touches the button, it's, it goes. So when the button is pressed and released, then what? We need to tell what to do. What's the action? So action. Lots of targets. Just like there's over 200 possible triggers in Intuiface, there's over 200 possible actions. Everything in Intuiface has a set of actions, associated actions. Let's start with navigation. Scene to scene navigation. Go to the scene named properties. Now I hope it's pretty obvious what we've just done. <laughs> what we're saying is when the button is pressed, navigate to the scene called properties. That's how you do navigation in Intuiface. Play. All right, here's my button. One, two, three, press me. And now we're in the property scene. Simple. That's how you do navigation. You select the trigger. Doesn't have to be a button. Over 200 triggers in the product. It could be when this video is played, when this website is visited, when the third image is displayed in the flip chart, when whatever. There's lots of possible triggers. Whatever it is, call the action, scene to scene navigation, go to scene. Everything has a set of associated triggers, uh, like tap is a universal trigger for everything. Everything recognizes tap. Uh, other triggers are pretty unique and specific to a particular item. For example, the scene itself, the background essentially, recognizes gestures. For example, I'm going to swipe my finger from the bottom right corner of the screen over to the left. You ready? One, two, three, swipe. And now I'm back to the triggers and action scene. Check it out. If I touch the scene itself, notice in the triggers and actions panel, there are two triggers. Gesture detected swipe left, gesture detected swipe right. Swipe left launches the next action. Swipe right launches the previous action. Interestingly, next and previous is 
in fact, relevant to the order of scenes in the scenes panel. It's the only time the order of the scenes panel is relevant is if you use next and previous. You don't have to use next and previous, but we give you that option. You saw we didn't even use next and previous. We used go to the scene named. Tons of triggers, tons of actions you can work with. There's another kind of um, trigger that we get asked about a lot, so let me show you that. If you have a publicly deployed kiosk, you don't want that kiosk to get stuck on a random scene, right? You want it to reset. Ideally, you have some sort of attract loop. You've got something that exists to attract attention. You need to make sure that if somebody uses your kiosk, eventually it goes back to the attract loop. To do that in a tool face, you would add an inactivity timer. Let's add it to the scene itself. So let's add another trigger. Timers category has been inactive three seconds. Three seconds is a crazy short period of time and probably something you'll never actually use. If you have a five minute video, your inactivity timer needs to be at least five minutes and one second, right? But for illustrating how this works, we'll just use three seconds. So when the scene has been inactive, when nothing has happened for three seconds, then scene to scene navigation, go to the scene, named properties. Play. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, there we go. That's how you reset your kiosk at a public location. I'm going to say it. Easy. That's easy. <laughs>